Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the DC Superheroes minifigure series. Today, we'll be looking at minifigure number 12, Metamorpho. Metamorpho, the Element Man, made his comic book debut in the 1965 issue of Brave and the Bold, issue 57. On an adventure to Egypt to find the Orb of Ra, Rex Mason was exposed to a radioactive meteorite. I know, but it was the 60s. Anyway, it turns out this meteorite material was used to create the Orb of Ra. Rex now had the ability to shapeshift and change into any element or combination of elements found in the human body. Since Metamorpho can't take his flesh and bone form again, he considers his superpowers a curse. The leg piece is my favorite part of this minifigure. Now, dual color printing is always cool, but to get one translucent clear leg is beyond awesome. The clear plastic with some ice blue accents represent his water leg. For his right leg, made of dirt, Lego used a tan color with reddish brown mud lines. Metamorpho's costume consists of a black underwear and a light blue belt with the letters M printed on it. While the detailed printing can be found on the sides of the leg piece, the back consists of the single base colors, making his underwear a thong. Lego had their work cut out for them when they decided to make this hero with the body made of multiple elemental properties. The right side of his torso is an orange color with those large muscles we expect from a superhero. There are also black lines to represent the shading technique used in the older comic books. His left side is a magenta color with reptile-like scales. This detailed printing is put on the sides and back of the piece. My one complaint is the use of a light nougat color for the upper part of his chest. It should be the same color as his head. I'm not sure if this was a deliberate choice or an oversight by Lego, but for a character that will never have human skin again, this little detail creates a big mistake. The headpiece does use the white coloring we see in the comics. The printing on the face is amazingly well detailed. The lopsided grin and raised eyebrow show the expression of a man who should not be messed with. The shadows around the eyes bring depth to this 2D printing. Compared to the rest of Metamorpho's body, his head is rather simple, so I'm glad Lego took the time to add those wrinkle lines across his face. I am disappointed that they didn't put these light bluish gray lines on the back as well. As a bald character, a little detail on the back would have been nice. Now while I'm disappointed, this is not a flaw in the design. For his accessory, Lego included a magenta gorilla fist handpiece. This would be the first time we get this oversized handpiece in a magenta color. It's a nice way to show his shape-shifting abilities and his tendency to morph his fists into more powerful instruments of destruction. Like all the other minifigures from the series, Lego used the typical minifigure stand, but added a jumper plate with a translucent clear angled 1L bar. While this new display style was a nice way to add dynamic poses to these action-based characters, I didn't think it was necessary for Metamorpho's more brute force tactics. When Lego announced a DC superhero minifigure series, I was less than excited. I thought two Lego Batman movie CMF series was enough. However, when the official minifigures were announced, it was these more obscure characters that caught my interest. I love these characters from the comics that we're probably not going to find in a standard Lego set or get a featured movie made about them. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.